Hi, hello, welcome back to Sri's channel. Most of us will be thinking how to speak in English. To speak in English, do we need to know grammar? Some says yes, some says no. After listening to me throughout the video, then you decide at the end of the video, is it required to have minimum basics to speak fluently in English or not? And first thing we need to do is we should not fear about anything. As we are good learners, we can learn anything. So, with that positive mind, let us start. Now, see I have divided singular, plural, first person, second person, third person. What are this first person, second person, third person? Let me tell you. Pronouns are subjects. So how many subjects we have? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 subjects we have. Why? What are subjects? Subjects are the one who does the work. So that is the minimum thing you need to understand. What is subject? Subject is the one which does the work. So I, we, you, he, she, it. They. These are all the subjects. Instead of nouns, we use pronouns. So, here I, we, you, he, she, it, they are the pronouns used instead of subject. Suppose, I did the work. What is the subject there? I. So, first person will always be the speaker. Who is the first person? Whoever speaks. So, one who speaks is called speaker. First person will be speaker. If it is singular, what is the subject will be? I. Plural, we. Nenu matlaadutu nanu, memu matlaadutu nanu. I am speaking, we are speaking. Second one, listener. When there is a speaker, obviously there will be a listener. That is, if singular also you, plural also you. Coming to third person, I and you might be or may be speaking about he or she or it. If it is plural, they. This is about minimum basics of subjects. Is it clear? Then shall we go? We are having the most important thing or the, more, or the area where we go or where we commit many mistakes are subject and verb agreement okay don't be panic about listening such a, such words it is nothing very simple subject verb agreement so for which subject which verb should be selected now is am are was were do did does have ha, has have had these are, are the major helping verbs which we use and these are, are the major villains whom will be confusing us. So, if we know the logic, they will become friends. If not, they will remain as villains. So, let us make them friends. Is, am, are, was, were. These are called as B forms. Do, did, does, do forms. Has, have, have, had, have forms. Now, our question is, I have written clearly, the line above is present, the line below is past. Same thing, above present, below past. Above present, below past. Above present, below past. Present, past. Present, past. Now, when I is subject in present, what should I take? This is for past. So, this is present. This is past. Among B forms. These three are for present. These two are for past. So, what should I take when I is the subject? Am. Um, right? Now, when V is the subject, we are, what should I take in present? Are. Because it is plural. We are. We are. Now, you are. You should not think about was or were because 
we are talking about present under present we are having only three so among these three are is the one because plural you are in telugu also we say meeru chestunnaru meeru vastunnaru okay so that is the subject verb agreement meeru vastunnanu can i tell no the same way you are next so we have done with a and are now he she it put a star here so third person singular will always be special for he she it we have to pick is when it is in present now this section is over so on in present only for a i am he she it is remaining or all, all are are now coming to past among b forms was or were so i was now we forget about these three only remember about these two so was or were we have already selected was here i was now see here how many options i have now either was or were forget about forget about these three only these two we were remember is changes to was are changes to were so wherever you get were are were wherever you get are were now is was were completed b forms completed now do forms do forms in present only we talk about do or does did is for past question paper leaked right so did is for past whatever the subject might be we need to use did that's it now so when you think when you observe here when it is pa if it is past no issue whatever the subject might be you are just writing i mean you are just picking did now only the problem will be when it is present do or does for that simple thing i will tell you yes does yes ending letters so he she it i told you put a star star yes third person singular yes which ends with yes okay does so we have already done does we have got for he she it now do is re, re, uh, ex, uh, so we have left we are left with do so the remaining will be do i do we do you do they do but he she it does now have do forms also completed same thing with have had is reserved for past again question paper leaked so had write in past case all had right now we are left with either has or have again i said you i told you that he she it will be ending with has and an, s ending letter so yes that is has now what is the remaining thing have i have we have you have can i write here have no it is already reserved so have now tell me is english difficult to speak either to speak or write think and comment me in the comment section